Litters? What's up, bud? Weird. Weird. Alright. I remember you, weird shed. You were separately solved. Oop. A bull. That's the output laser, right? I can still start you, I think. Boat. Ugh. I'm gonna try to curb how much I let myself boat, because I remember it being a bit infuriating trying to get all of it. How do I start this place? Ah, here it- oh. Hmm. Could do with the refresher. <laughs> Maybe come back later then. I vaguely, mostly remember how the Tetrises work. But they're weird enough. There's enough variations that's worth reviewing correctly. Yeah, this is more explicitly like a... That's, I mean, when, I think, when I think of the Metroidvania, but brain, Metroidvania stuff, this is the first place that comes to mind, is the fact that like there's two doors that require outside mechanics to get in, and then even once you're in the puzzles, they're like, here's a mechanic, figure it out. And you're like, oh, oh, shit, I need to maybe come back later. So, I guess the idea behind the lasers is that they don't want to make you resolve the levels that can't be randomized, and so they assign, I guess, the lasers of the places that can't be randomized to uh, other puzzles and so on. And so that's why there's extra beams up, apparently. At least that's what I've been told. And I'm just going with that. There's apparently a place to read it or something somewhere, but I haven't actually looked it up. Uh, I guess there's like a wiki or something. Womp womp. But this is also like a, a reunion return to witness adventure thing. So even though it is a randomizer playthrough, I'm also just going to go ahead and also play the not randomized parts of the game too, for old times' sake. And it's just it will just be like, well, it's not randomized, but it's still the game, and it's been long enough that I'd like to go back to it and all that. Oh man! Oh, there we go. Eh. Oh, that. I thought that wasn't going to work. It got stuck. And I think this is one of those places. Yeah, the laser's already activated. Uh, does that mean the puzzle's already solved? Not visibly. Alright, where is this? Where is the sequence start? But I, but I still want to do this one. Also, it's the sh it's the shadow area. It's probably really... Some of these areas are probably really fast. Like, the, like some, of the, some of these areas are like... Just crushingly difficult and some of these areas are like the equivalent of the trees where it's just a quick little like this is a fun little idea that doesn't overstay its welcome in it this one was incredibly intuitive the first time around just a simple matter of don't touch the shadows but here we're already i like how quickly they wrinkle things like here my, my big dumb head is in the way so i have to try to tell what the shadow look like looks like and then remember it because i stand in the way because the sun don't move in this universe. Oh. Oh, good. Wait, were you? Ah, shit. What's up with this? Oh, it's it's a timer. It closes every single time. Oh, wait, does that mean that it's... Uh... Got it. I did. I, I genuinely. Uh, 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 ooh, that triggered two things. The shortcut down to here. Uh. Okay, I thought something was weird. There's no hitbox there. <laughs> you clip through this piece of floor that sticks up, so it looks like you're short all of a sudden for a bit, because your character moves weirdly. It's not the most noticeable thing, but I I briefly thought I was like way too short. That's a fun little detail. I did not remember that detail. I was looking up to to find like a branch or something that probably have to line up to figure out the shadows, and then realized it was closed again, and then thought that was curious, and then that turned out to be the whole thing, whole dang thing. I think this one is just ignore the slats that aren't part of the puzzle. Yeah, 
It's because that grate's not supposed to be part of the pu the branch puzzle. Ah, how did an ant get on my arm? Bleh. That's not a fun time because you're like, that thing took a while to get there. There was just a bug on my bod for a while. What am I looking at? Uh... No! I missed it. I pac man I pac man hard. Boom! Oops. No! What the heck are you shaped like, you dumbass little logs? What's, uh, what's happening? We're not following the shadows, right? No, it starts, because, yeah, it starts in the not shadows. This part seemed right. Is it some nonsense like this? I don't know. It doesn't look like it's possible. <laughs> I'm kind of making some shit up right now. They, they didn't do the anti-brute force mechanic here. What am I hitting here? I guess I'm hitting that. How do I avoid hitting anything? Mm. It looks solid. It looks like there's a path through. There is the branch in the way. Fuck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see an opening at all. Hang on a minute. Like, that's a branch crossing there. And this is all solid. This I ignore. That's, a, that's just a beam. And this one I ignore. And this one I ignore. But, like, this still covers here. Like, this is one continuous chunk all the way through here. That's all- that all counts, right? Hmm. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. All right. <laughs> Oh, you son of a bitch. That is the that is like the shortest path solution ever to a uh, to a freaking puzzle. Um I think sometimes you kind of like lock into place and other times it lets you look at it at whatever angle you want to. Or maybe it's like once you view it from a forward enough angle it tries to lock you in. Or maybe it's case by case. Squiggle out then step up. There we go. Just start to obscure the beams. The lizards. The... Um, mm, 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 uh. That level of detail is toggle. <laughs> okay. So staircase down twice, then back up. One, two. Boom.
My brain hurty. Okay, um... Oh, it's all the way down there. Okay. So it starts... Blah, 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 blah. Oh! There's another one. It goes over, then up, then... Now we're looking at the le the shadow on the left, so it goes left, up, right. And now we're back on the page, so we're looking to that stuff to the that's a little bit above that. It's gonna be up, right, up, huh? No? Two? Or just one? It's a little open. It's a little hard to to parse how far it's moving when it transitions on and off of the grid. There it is. It was both doubles. Mm hmm. Where is the shadow? It's way the fuck up there. Okay. Can I fit them both on the screen. This is one of the goofier parts of the game. <laughs> that you can get away with stuff like this. I love it. So, most of the way down, eh. I guess that wasn't far enough over. <laughs> I like that it's so far away that you can't even- you get, it was the- it was barely audible, even for me. And I don't even know what it sounds like to you guys. I'm never totally sure what these videos sound like to you guys when I'm recording them, because I turn it down so that I'm audible over it, but I also compress the audio, so it has a narrower dynamic range, which also can make it more audible. Motherfucker. Alright, there's no looking at this at a good angle. This is just... You have to try to memorize it. Maybe like... Bzzip. All the way over, then like... Kind of zigzag up, I guess. I didn't even see where the laser just kind of gets lost in, in the... I almost said grout. Uh... Hmm... Fake... Word... Sod. There we go. V no... It goes... This one's interpretive. You have, to, you have to interpret what the gaps are based on how... The logic of the world works, basically. There we go. Because I started off going up, because it look it looks like it just goes up at first, or maybe it goes zigzag out like this way. But then you realize like this that it loops on itself, so it has to be going this way and then through here. You have to like think about how corners work and whether or not each path is possible. It's just it's just enough of a twist to give you a moment of pause, but also still easy enough that it's you know it's we're still in the shadow level. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Okay, so yeah, it's proximity based. If I'm far enough away, it won't try to lock me in, and then I can try to do a little bit better. What the fugly? The zigzag goes down again? How does it do that? What the heck? The exit's up there. I'm just going to go across and see if, I, if this works, which is not the best approach ever. I'm correlating the bottom part of the two slats on the left and right to the bottom part on in the middle, but like... Oh, there's a, there's a horizontal line in the bottom. I see it. I think this is the... I think this middle row is where is the middle of the shadow. Or the middle of the middle part, the middle, the back, the back, the board that's further away. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna loop around, go back up by one, and then go straight across, and dan and it, 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 it up. No, I did it perfectly, as you can tell from the result. 
Ne? 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 Yeah, I did the same thing again, didn't I? But, but what's wrong with it? Because this goes, it's this connects to here, right? And then this connects to here. This connects to here, and that connects to here. Right. Yeah, it can't be here because I have to loop back around the other side. This uses like maximum lineage, doesn't it? Ah, gotcha. All right, so this is sh this side's shallow. Sneaky. All right, that's yep, yep. This doesn't line up. That was shallow. That's that's my big goof. I believe I just opened half the gate somewhere. Hello. Cool. I don't want to go in that club anyway. Probably play loud music. Make these just hard enough to follow. Hello. We have inverted the rules. Wow, we are rebels. No one could have predicted this. That one's getting that one a, that one's a bit more impressionist. <laughs> Not exactly coloring in the lines here, are we? Uh huh. There might be the implication that if it's like. If we viewed it at the right angle, maybe they'd made match better. Or maybe it really is just like. Try to. Like. Reduce the resolution of the of what you're being seen until it fits the resolution of the puzzle Like turning something into pixel art Which is a really cool art form in its own right that involves a lot of interpretation and creative choices and it's not simply fuck It's not simply a matter of just Algorithmically turning something into a lower resolution version of itself or anything Eh. Okay, that one was... That was a very questionable corner. Eh? Eh? Eh, 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 eh. Oh, that one's broken. Wait. Are you guys pulling a sneaky on me again? Yeah, you are. Yeah, they are. They did the thing again. Same trick. Oh, that's a gate again. Is that the second half of this gate opening? Alright, so they, yeah, the two times I heard a creak, that was them opening this gate. Oh yeah, it's half of one. It's half to follow the shadows and half follow the openings. My head's in the way. Call back. It's, it's the bottom part. Actually, I can just stand further back. I guess that's also a thing you could learn from the other puzzle. There are two potential lessons to be had. But whatever one I learned was the right one, whatever learned one you learned was the wrong one, so yeah. <laughs> did not pick up on a lot of environmental puzzles in there, did I? There's probably some shouting like just obvious ones I didn't look at. It's a busy-ish little foresty area. The rooftop ones always obviously stand out to me like crazy. This is like a black line on a roof, and it's like, well, that's gotta connect somewhere. And there's only so many options. It's gonna be in the direction of whence it came. Um, mm, I'm a little bit not looking forward to doing the color one again. It's a good puzzle. It's not. I don't dislike it the way I dislike the water level puzzle. Uh, it's just it was. It was a lot of paperwork at the time. Alright, so is this one activated? No. Okay. Curious about that. Some of these puzzles might be randomizable, and some of them I think aren't. So I'm curious how they're going to deal with some of that stuff. Particularly these mazes. Alright, so what was this one? Of course, I don't remember the original puzzle, so I can't tell you if it's randomized. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> All right. Uh, those. Those are there. Yeah. No, we don't go that far down, do we? Yeah. It's a memory puzzle. Is what was the path you took? Because the little barriers aren't on the maze. What was this one? Ah. It's the parts that haven't been mowed, isn't it? Yep. The memory is made somewhat harder by the fact that you also can't... You're not likely to solve it on your first try when you're walking it. That makes memory a little harder. This one's pretty straightforward though, isn't it? Boom! Mostly to tuck the wall. This one's audio? Yeah. Um... Hey! First try! Okay. Yeah. There's... bad... grating sounds, and then soft... squishy sounds. Sand versus gravel, I guess. I remember picking up on that one pretty quickly, but other people were playing the game on mute, and that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh, is this, one, this one might be Shadows. The Shadows? The Shadows aren't blocking my path. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, is it that the two don't match? The mazes don't match. Ah. Uh. All right. So this middle part is real. I can see the maze from here. So this is me going down the middle. Okay. If I turn left. That opening doesn't exist on that map, so we can't go that way. We'll go right. So this is the first layer. We're now in the middle layer. So it was like... Yeah. There it was. That's what the trick was. I didn't remember that one at all. Mmm, flowers. Somewhere. Probably a few times, actually, you guys are an environmental puzzle. So many opportunities between the shadows and the flowers and the whatnots and the. This one's almost making you think. I think this is another thing that primes you a little bit for the idea of environmental things. Is like this is this is that entire room is a puzzle. Cling, 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 cling. Oh, we went all the way to the top. Oh, do you open up the, do you unlock the second half? <sighs> oh shit, okay. Hmm, big memory puzzle, okay. I feel like I got it on my first try last time and people lost their shit or something. Uh, I think this part's correct. A 
Oh man, you you don't know which one's wrong. I'm confident about the top, the bottom left, and the top, and the bottom right. I think I shouldn't change too much at a time. Ugh. I feel like we just hugged the wall, didn't we, until the last squiggle? Then you're the one I'm least sure about. There it is. It was the top right one that was messing up, wasn't I? First time around. There we go. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What? <laughs> it's so cool. You have to find the part that's actually got the right shape to it. The entire maze is a puzzle. It's it's a maze, 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 and it's a maze. <laughs> you know. Oh, hello. But also the other one. Um, Where does that one connect to? Can I connect that? That one doesn't necessarily have a squiggle at the end. Hmm. I saw this first, but then yeah, it's the path, isn't it? Maybe not. Maybe not the shadow. Those are some really cool moments when you have the uh, the uh, god view or whatever, and you spot something crazy. Every now and then, the whole world just lines up for you. Here we go. Now we're getting downstairs. Probably on the wrong side. But that counts as a puzzle solution, so I'll take it. Add it to the total. Add it to the total. Ah. This is the one where we walk, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So it starts here, but I can't click it. So I need to walk. So you could zigzag. Zigzag. All the way to the end. Then down. Gotta remember that. So zigzag all the way to the end, hit the middle, down to. Loop less. Uh, it's a lot to remember. First try. There we go. All right. I love. I love. This is just a playground of fucking nonsense. <laughs> These are some great environments. You guys having a great time? And you're. What's up with all the guards, by the way? Like, what is the context for this place? Hello. Oh. So I'll be right back. <laughs> I get to. So thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> Alright, we'll come back here when I have revisited how mechanic do. Oh, perfect timing. Mm -hmm.